Movies, TV, Sports, Flicks. Movies, TV, Sports, Flicks. Movies, TV, Sports, Flicks. The Captain Captain Hawk Flicks. Movies, TV, Sports, Flicks. Movies, TV, Sports, Flicks. Movies, TV, Sports, Flicks. The Captain Captain Hawk Flicks. Welcome to the Captain Talks List Podcast. I'm your host, the Captain Cortez, a.k.a. Mr. Love, and this is where we talk flicks. I walk in the podcast, podcast where me, the captain, talks about movies, TV, sports, flicks, anything you see in the tuber screen. I'd like to get in here and give my unique perspective, because after 46 years of being on planet Earth, I've developed a unique perspective by this movies, TV, sports, and flicks. I can't tell you about it, because just maybe... Just maybe you care. And according to the stats, looks like you do care. I want to give a big shout out to Zambia. We got some plays over in Zambia, Zambia this past week. Gracias, gratitude, total raba. In Zambia, I heard you got a company over there working on taking waste and turning it into energy. Like gas, petrol, right? So they're taking like old plastic, old rubber, and they're making fuel out of it. Kind of like in Back to the Future where he takes the trash and puts it in the, in the, in the hood and and it fuels the it fuels the time machine. Yeah, you guys like Back to the Future. <laughs> That's so dope. It's awesome. So cool to hear that. Appreciate listening to the podcast. Gracias, gratitude. And just FYI, back then with school to be a radio DJ. But I never got a job. I think I never got a job. Because I never turned waste into energy. Think of all the energy I could have had if I turned waste into energy. I'd be a millionaire right now. I'd be a trillionaire. I would be the richest human being on planet Earth. Or maybe I wouldn't. So I never did that. I never became a radio DJ. But that allowed me to become the greatest podcaster in the Matrix. Some to debate. Might be true. Might not be true. But I said it on the internet. So it's got to be true, right? Because everything on the internet is... <laughs> facts. Not Facts. Baby facts, so so suck my toe all the way to make go. False, true, fake news. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm not sure. I didn't make the internet. Somebody else did. Ask them. So this when you're online, be aware, be mindful, watch out. Anybody's like a ramble here all day, but I won't. Let's get right to the podcast. But first, a word from our sponsor. In this day and age, I think it is very important to train your brain. Right? We get muscles, we work out, we exercise, we lift weights, we run, we jog, right? But you also want to train that brain, right? Do some reading, meditation, you know, level up your brain, learn languages. You just exercise that brain so it'll last a long time. So if you believe that, we got a mug over the Existed Fictions as a store that says train this daily. And on that mug is a picture of a brain. It is one of the greatest mugs I've ever bought. It is so dope. I look at that mug. I was, I was drinking out of it last night. Look at the mug. It's got the brain on there. It says train this daily. Now, you ever heard of like subliminal messages, programming, right? People think we're getting programs, subliminal messages, right? Maybe we are. Well, maybe it's true. Maybe we do that. Well, program yourself. Yeah, I'm programming myself to train this brain, to level up my brain. So get get. I'll put the link below if you're interested. I'll also share it on social media so you can see the train this daily mug. It's a dope mug. It really is. I actually own that. Like seriously, it's dope. So I'll put the link below over these existing fictions as a store. Now let's get on the podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, finally, the captain has came back to podcasting. I'm back again. And I told you last week was a bit much. Last week was a bit much. My energy was drained. Somehow my energy got drained, bro. The energy was drained last week. But I still did the podcast. You might not even notice I told you guys, but if I didn't tell you, you might not have noticed. The energy was drained and I still perform, baby. Because that's what professionals do. If you're a professional, you're tired, worn out, drained. So what? The show must go on. We put in the work. We do the work you perform. It's how we operate. It's how we get down. It's our ninja way. And if you're listening to this podcast, I know you like that too. You know it's true. You know you had to push through some whatever to get things done. That's how we roll. That's how this podcast rolls. That's how we roll, baby. I know you did it too. I know there's those moments where you're like, bro, I don't want to do this, but we pushing through because this is how we roll. So anyways, I did that last week and I know you're doing it too. So let's keep doing this. Let's keep pushing through. Let's keep making 2022. Great. Because what I'm hearing 
what the word on the street is, is this pandemic might almost be over. Back to normal, baby. Finally, after many years of wearing masks and all the social distancing and all this, whatever, 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 it's finally over. Or close to it. We're the tail end of it. Back to business as usual. Then I can pull out my passport and travel the world, baby. All those countries I talked about. The last couple of years, I'm go there, meet some fly honeys, have some food. Now we can make it happen. Now you're going to see my tropical islands. Now you're going to see me on the other side of the world doing podcasts. I post on Instagram. It's happening, baby. Well, not yet. It's got, the pandemic's got to be over first. We're close. And then I'll see, I'll see you. I'll come visit. Hang out. So nice, yeah. Pandemic's almost over. Put in the work. Did work. And now it's podcast time. So let me talk about what I want to talk about today. So during this pandemic, the last few years, I discovered some videos on YouTube. I discovered some very healing relaxing, calming videos. And in these videos, very soft-spoken ladies do Reiki. Reiki. Reiki is like energy cleansing manipulation because we all have life force energy flowing through our body. Right? At least people think that. I like to think that's true. I can feel the energy flowing right now. I'm manipulating my chi right now. I can feel the energy flow through my body. I feel it. My hands are tingling. Look at that energy. I probably can break bricks in my head right now. <laughs> so anyways, in these Reiki YouTube videos, through the magic of the internet and the magic of the Reiki, they uh, help adjust, cleanse, heal our energy, right? I've been watching these videos for a while. And I go into them a little stress, a little overwhelmed. I told you last week, I was a little drained, whatever, a little whatever, tired. Did some Reiki videos. And the captain felt good as new. I felt like I just got a tune-up. I felt fantastic. A little soft-spoken, little reeky energy uh, cleanse. And I was feeling great. I was ready to rock and roll, handle business, do podcasts, exercise, all these things. I was ready to handle the business again. A little reeky. This is over the internet. This is not even real life. This is through the internet. I could feel my third eye, like, like pulsing. Like, it's real. Like, I'm not lying. It's real. My third eye was pulsing, baby. That's the power of the reeky. Reeky. Don't lose that number. Ricky, don't lose that number. Don't lose that number, Ricky. Keep on ricky So yeah, been doing Ricky. It's very cool. I highly recommend you check this out. Check out the Ricky, baby. Because it'll help you feel a little bit better. Or relax after a stressful day. I know in 22, 21, 20, we've been feeling it. So take some time, relax, get some Ricky. Get that energy adjusted, cleansed, calmed. All that. It's dope. Do that. And check it out. You won't be disappointed. So anyways, I want to talk about the Reiki videos I've been doing. They're very cool, very healing. And additionally, what I want to talk about is I was watching a video with the guy that made Facebook. You know that guy? He made Facebook. That guy that made Facebook. He did a movie about it. You know, you know what Facebook is? Might not. No one really even knows. I don't think people know what Facebook is. No one uses that, right? <laughs> Nobody on planet Earth uses Facebook. Who uses that? What is that? What is a Facebook? A face in a book? I don't even know what that is. Anyways, I'm not going to tell you what it is because, you know, Google it if you don't know what Facebook is. Anyways, um, the guy that made Facebook was doing an interview and he was talking about the metaverse. Now, I did a podcast about the metaverse like a couple months ago when he just talked about it. I didn't know what it was. I still kind of don't know what it is, but he explained it a little bit more. And I'm going to be completely honest with you guys right now. I know a little bit more about it. And I told you in the last podcast, I was kind of like, eh. I was like, oh, hold the brakes. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I'm not ready for this. Not yet. Not quite ready for this. That's what I said before. And after hearing a little bit more about it, a little more information, a little more knowledge about it, hearing the guy that's going to make it, I'm kind of like, whoa. I'm really not into that, bro. I mean, no disrespect. You're a smart man. You're a rich, smart man. You're way richer than me, way smarter than me. You probably know better. I mean, you probably do. But I'm just saying, bro, it's just it's not for me. I'm just not feeling... Maybe, maybe, I don't, maybe I still don't know enough. But all the information I gathered and watched and heard about this, I'm like, I don't know, man. You want me to buy a digital shirt? I can't even wear it. <laughs> you want me to buy a digital shirt, bro? How am I going to put that on? It's on, the, it's on the screen, bro. I don't get it. How can I wear a digital shirt? <laughs> and, and seriously, after hearing it, it almost feels kind of like the Matrix. Like, I spent all these years getting out the Matrix. 
And now they want me to go back in the Matrix. I don't want to go back in the Matrix, bro. I finally got out. I finally escaped the Matrix. And now they're making this, this metaverse that kind of feels like the Matrix. Right? Like, it, it, I'll be honest. I'm not, no disrespect. I'm not, no judgment. This is just my perspective, my unique perspective. It kind of feels like the Matrix. I was like, I don't want to be in the Matrix, bro. I'm good. I'm, I've seen the movie, bro. I know what happens. <laughs> I've seen how it turns out, bro. I'm good. I don't want to be in the Matrix. I'm sorry. And it's what it kind of feels like. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the metaverse is nothing like the Matrix. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I get richer and smarter, I'll understand. I'll be more accepting of it. But right now, in 2022, this very date, that's the kind of the perspective. And I want an additional thing. I did not finish hearing the whole interview. After hearing the rest of the interview, get more information, maybe I'll change my tune. And then I'll do a podcast about that. But as of right now, 2022, it's just not for me, bro. It's not ready. I'm just not ready for it yet. Maybe I'll be ready someday. Maybe when I grow up, become an adult, I'll be ready for it. But right now, 2022, the metaverse just sounds too much. Too much for it's too much for me, bro. It's just I'm just not ready to make that leap. And a leap into the metaverse. I don't want to leap yet. I'm not ready to leap. Maybe one day I'll leap. But I'm not leaping yet. I'm going to stay here and uh, punch punching bags. And roll on the floor and grapple. And sit in a recliner and think and drink tea. In solitude. <laughs> and read books. Physical books. That's what I'll do. Now I'll do that. And then maybe, maybe I get tired of that. And everybody else is in the metaverse. And I'm the only person not in the metaverse. I, I may have no choice. It may come down to I have no choice. Maybe all human beings are just going to the metaverse. It's inevitable. They're all going. It's going to happen whether you like it or not. Everybody's going to the metaverse. No one's going to be on planet Earth. They're all in the metaverse all the time, all day, constantly. No one's leaving the metaverse. Everybody's going. If you ain't there, you're square. Be there, be square. You, ain't, you, ain't, you just can't live without it. Maybe that's where we're all going. It could be. And when that, when that happens, I guess I'll be there. And I'll buy a digital shirt. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm sorry. But it's just true. And, and I don't mean to be critical or harsh. I'm just playing. I'm having fun here. It, it, I'm sure there's some cool aspects I really would like about it. I'm not a tech... Just real quick. I'm not a technophobe. I like technology. I use phones and computers. I watch TV. Right? I'm not a crazy technophobe. Just let you know. But just, just, I'm just not sold on it yet. And like I said, maybe after I get more information, additional, understand a little bit better than I do now after the past two videos I've watched. Maybe after I just learn a little bit more, maybe I'll accept it. I don't know. We'll see. You know, it took me a while to kind of get into computers and phones and stuff. So uh, we'll see. Maybe I will become the biggest champion for Metaverse. Maybe I'll never shut up about it. Maybe I'll tell you about that. Maybe I'll change the podcast to the Captain Talks Metaverse. Right? It won't be the Flix number. We'll change the whole podcast. It'll become the Captain Talks the Metaverse. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, that's all I want to talk about this week. Just talked about Ricky YouTube videos and the Metaverse. And it might be the Matrix. I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyways, thanks for joining me. Appreciate it. Gracias. Gratitude. And until next time, we'll see you. The most important thing about goals is having one. Jeffrey F. Abbott. Until next time, it's Captain Peace. The Captain, the Captain Talks, Talks Flicks. Flicks.